Three scientists won the Nobel Prize for Physics on Tuesday for their groundbreaking work around climate change. Japanese-born American Shikuro Manabe, Germany's Klaus Haselmann and Italy's Giorgio Parisi were this year's award winners. The decision was praised by the UN Weather Agency as a sign of a consensus forming around man-made global warming. One half of the $1.15 million prize goes in equal parts to Manabe and Haselmann. The Academy said Princeton University's Manabe had laid the foundation in the 1960s for today's understanding of Earth's climate. How does it feel to win the Nobel Prize? It's total surprise. Total surprise? Uh, yeah, I never expected. I think the most important thing is I try to help understanding why climate has changed as it has been and how it is going to change in future. That was the main focus of my research. I never imagined that this uh, thing I'm, I will begin to study has such a huge consequences. And uh, I was doing it just because of my curiosity. You've probably all heard of Michael Jordan, the basketball player. I've always viewed Suki as the Michael Jordan of climate. He elevated the entire NBA to iconic status, not just in the US, but around the world. So too Suki, in his presence, elevates the entire field of climate scientists to its standing today in the field of such vital and outstanding importance. So I, I view Suki as the Michael Jordan. When, when Suki started his career in the 1950s, the topic of global warming was, was quite obscure. But his inspired vision led him to make the fundamental discoveries upon which all of modern cli climate science rests. It also recognised that Haselman had developed models which helped prove mankind's carbon dioxide emissions caused rising temperatures in the atmosphere. On winning his award, Haselman said he was happy to see younger generations being so aware of climate change. I think it's really important that the youth is also getting involved and is using this way to make the public aware of the problem. I'm really happy that it isn't just the old, but that the young are spreading the message. Parisi takes the other half of the prize for his discovery in the 1980s of so-called hidden rules. They are behind seemingly random movements and swirls in gases or liquids, which can also be applied to other aspects of science. Climate change is an enormous danger for humanity. Now it is extremely important that governments act and react assertively, and as fast as they can. Like last year, there will be no traditional banquet in Sweden due to the global health crisis. The laureates will instead receive their medals and diplomas in their home countries.